Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my first update for my Lust for Lux collab project pan with my friend on Instagram, Liz, of Liz Plans and Pan. We've also had a bunch of amazing people join this collab project pan with us, and I've done my best to include everyone and in links to either their YouTube channel or their Instagram page in my description box below and on the original video. Please, if you're also involved in this project pan and I somehow missed you, please shoot me a DM either on Twitter or on Instagram and I'll add your link as well because I do want to have a full list of everyone who's participating in our collab project pan. So this is a six month project pan which will be ending in March. So this is our first month and I think I've made a decent amount of progress so far so let's jump into my products first if you missed the intro where I kind of explain what I picked and everything I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to watch that before we jump into here okay so the first product I want to talk about is my face powder from hourglass so uh, this is actually like almost gone and this is the first time I actually tried to repress an hourglass powder I didn't really know if it was possible or not so I tested it out with this one can I open it maybe I'm gonna hold it this way. <laughs> and I was able to successfully repress it. So this is how much powder is left. I basically just had to scrape everything out of here, pour it onto a palette, and then put it back in here in the middle with a little bit of alcohol and squished it. <laughs> and it, it works just as well. I don't see any differences in the formula or in the product, and I think it's going to be a lot easier to finish up the powder with it repressed like this. So since I repressed this only recently, like last week, um, I think now it's gonna go really quickly because before with the powder on like the edges of the pan, it was so hard to like get enough on my brush to like use all over my face. But now that it's all here in the middle, I think this is gonna go fairly quickly. All right, next let's talk about my eyeliner. So first, the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Eyeliner. I've actually been using the Step 1 liner pretty often. I've used it at least three times just this week. I actually really like how thin the applicator brush is. This thing is really thin. Like, you can get such a precise, just nice, thin black line. And I've been using that for some more dramatic looks that I've been doing recently, specifically with the Metropolis palette that I just picked up. That being said, I haven't really used the glitter <laughs> much or if at all. I really think this is gonna look really cute for like a nice New Year's look or like some darker smoky eyes as we get into winter, which I'm so excited, like it actually feels like fall now and I'm so happy I could cry. The other eyeliner I have is from Marc Jacobs and I have only, I gotta say, I've only used this a couple of times and I don't think I've really, I'm twisting this up as far as I can. I don't think I've really made much progress. This isn't like a dramatic eyeliner. This is more of an everyday liner, but since I have it in like my project pan drawer and not in like my eye makeup drawer, I feel like I'm not reaching for it until my makeup's done and maybe I already have another eyeliner on. So I think in order to get more like kind of daily use out of this, I'm gonna move this into my daily like eye makeup drawer <laughs> so that I'm actually reaching for it on the daily. Cause this is just a nice like champagne brightening shade to use like in the waterline and I wanna get more use out of it. So I think I'm gonna move it to that drawer. Next we have a product that I'm actually wearing right now and I've been wearing really often and I actually don't see any sign of this running out soon which is kind of shocking this is the YSL lip paint I think is what it's called and it's a beautiful little bit of a deeper nude shade it's really comfortable it's more of a lip stain and not like a lipstick so this has kind of been my new go-to nude lipstick and it basically lives in my purse now like back here I put it on in the morning I throw it in my purse but it's so comfortable and it lasts pretty well that I really don't need to reapply it so I don't know why I keep throwing it in my purse. I could leave it there, but I feel like I need to get better at cleaning out my purse because at the end of the week, I end up with like four-ish different lipsticks in there depending on what I'm wearing throughout the week. I need to get better at bringing them back into my collection so I keep using them. <laughs> but that being said, I think I'm making some decent progress on this. I just don't know how to tell like when it starts to dry out, but we'll see, we'll see. Next, I gotta admit it, I have something that I really haven't touched. <laughs> except for maybe once. And that's because I'm focusing so much on my Pan That palette. I've made such great progress on that. And it's like, I'm feeling the pressure because it's like October and I want to finish it by December 31st. Um, and since this project does extend past the new year, I feel like 
I'm not focusing as much on this, but also because I'm not trying to pan the whole thing. I think I'm trying to hit pan on like just a couple of shades in here. And this is my only Pat McGrath palette. This is the Bronze Temptation. Yeah, Mothership Sublime, sub Sublime. Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette. And this is just very holiday. This is a holiday palette. So I think I'm really going to focus on this more when it comes to like Thanksgiving, when it comes to like Christmas, New Year's. Um, but for right now, there are some neutral shades I could be reaching for, but I'm doing my best to just keep reaching for my Pan That Palette on a daily basis and not necessarily this one right now. So this does need some work, um, but I'm not worried since, like I said, we've only been doing this a month. We have five more to go. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have the product that I think I have made the most progress on, and that is my Dior highlighter. I almost said Dua. My boyfriend has ruined Dior for me. Like, even... <laughs> what was what were we doing before? I think it was like a... Uh, there was that... Um, I don't know. There was something about a fashion show. I don't know if it was Dior or not. But now, whenever Dior is mentioned, it's just like my boyfriend jumps in and he goes, Dua! And now I think of it first, too, so it's ruined. <laughs> but this is a highlighter I've literally been using every day. I've been reaching for this highlighter every day without fail, and I have not hit pan yet, but I think I am very close. Can you please focus? So this is my highlighter right now. I've been using the DE section of the nude highlighter. As you can see, I've been basically brushing my brush all the way in this section. I have a fluffy brush that I use for highlighter, so it does take up a little bit more surface area, but I think I'm gonna hit pan in like this middle section fairly soon. So this is easily the like most progress I've made on any product in this project so far, but it's also a gorgeous product and I'm glad I'm getting more use out of it. I'm wearing this highlighter today. I'm wearing this every day where it, you know, if it's on my vacation, I brought that. If it was going to work every day, I wore it there. I wear it on the weekends. It's just, and I'm glad I'm getting use out of it because before I used to be afraid to use it because, oh, it's a Dior highlighter. I think it's like my only... Yes, yeah, the only product from Dior I have in my pro my collection now. Before, I actually, I used to have the Dior Air Flash foundation, which is actually a really good foundation. I hate saying it because it's so expensive, and I've been tempted on more than one occasion to purchase it again, but, like, I don't need it. It's just a really great luxury product. So that's everything for my little update here. I think Liz already did her update a few weeks ago. I'm a bit behind because of my vacation, but I will have her... Instagram, of course, linked down below along with everyone else that I've picked up that has started this project. Please let me know if you're doing this project and you're not listed down below. I would like to have a full list down there, so shoot me a DM either on Instagram or on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.